What's up, baking baristas? Welcome back to episode um six. Six. I thought it was episode eight. Nine. We're not doing this again. It's six. It's episode. How's everyone's day been? What do you mean again? Liam, I think you're misremembering. I'm not doing this because it's like a gag. I'm doing this because it's it's what should be right. Yeah, I'm speaking facts, and your facts are incorrect. Okay, that's crazy, guys. It is crazy. My day's been okay. I haven't done much. That's My day good. was fine. I had work, and then hung out. What's the address of your work again? I'm not, I never said that, and I'm not going to say it. Oh, you clearly don't remember. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Beam, how's Just your day? Just urge to gaslight. It's been all right. A little so bit monotonous. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm healing. You know, I, I have recently sworn off of gaslighting. I don't remember. That. No more. Zero percent gaslighting. I don't think you were there, but like no, it, it happened. There. It did happen, and I'm done with it. You know, it's like a bad ex that I am now trying to get over. No bit, I was there. Okay. Good to know. Because I just, I wanted to make sure you were, you didn't accidentally gaslight me. Yeah, well, the deal is if anyone catches me gaslighting, I owe them $10. Oh, fuck as, yes. As, which will never happen, because I think I'm already doing really well. Yeah, you are. You... No... What do you mean? You 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 broke you broke it within the first day. Wait, I actually don't remember this. What? Remember, you got onto Simon for something that didn't really happen. No. All right, all right. Let's. So, so what happened there is I was like, le- someone was. told me that he said a thing, and I immediately believed it, and apparently he didn't say that thing. But that doesn't count as gaslighting. Was that me? Was I gaslighting? No, I was I was about to say, but it was also kind of due to like a misunderstanding. Okay, yeah, I don't not guess that, that's a little. That's just a simple misconception, you know. Unfortunately, it's a different thing. So technically, I'm still uh, O and one. I'm zero being the amount of points gaslighting has, and one being the amount of points I have for the number of days gone without gaslighting. You know, I, I think I think this is a good thing. I think I can finally start get along, getting along with my life as a normal human being now. This will be good. Good. They always come back. Oh. Uh, life is always life is all about self improvement. You got to look inward. You got to look inward to your once memories. You fix, once you look inward. You can fix any problem outward. Sun Tzu said that in the art of loving that's yourself. That's gaslighting. No, that's, that's a lie. Gas- that's just blatantly lying. That's just a lie. I think. It. It's just. But this me, I'm, I'm not like. It doesn't bar me off from just jokes. Yeah, I believe Sun yeah, Tzu once like said the greatest truth is the one that's specifically false. targeting a person and making them like think something they know of, they know of is different, right? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I've narrowed it down. I have a surefire way. Whenever you say you're misremembering, I'm going to call you out for it. Oh, he has well, said I, that. I, that is, that that is, is what he's cutting out. Yep. And that's what I'm not doing. Yeah, that's, and that's why I said I'm going to look for that, because I know otherwise it's not. Well, you're never going to find it. I In fact, hope. you haven't found it. You forgot. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Jackson, he swore off nothing. Jackson is the one who really needs this. No, Jackson, I don't. Be, Jackson, be glad you're exempt. Exempt from what? I, I feel like I feel like it can almost predict exactly what you will say to almost half of the things I say because it's it's the exact same thing every time. I disagree with that. Exactly. No, what I would have said there if you really predicted was no. In fact, you're misremembering what I say. That is exactly yeah. what I would predict you would have said. But I didn't say that, so you were wrong. Well, that's why I said half the time. No, half the time is only 50%. Correct? He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Wait, what? I'm okay. <laughs> See, you're completely confused there. Guys, have you ever played Mario Galaxy? What? No. 
I just want to talk about that. That's that's one of my favorite games out there. That's 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 one of my childhood games. I remember everyone every every time I hear someone talk about like their childhood stuff, it's always like they're older than I am, you know. But like that's my childhood right there. I love Mario Galaxy. Now. You know, I I just realized I'm I think I'm finally old enough to start having nostalgia for things. Yeah, that's crazy. You're old. I'm an old I'm an old man. One one of our friends, they like they like they bought a car. Like they just did that with with their money. Yeah. God, this is crazy. Look. Who who allowed that to happen? Dude, p- that people did that in high school, you know. Look. I was look, about to guess like Danny Danny focused entirely on the money game okay you can't blame him for having all that dough no i can't i, I gotta respect I mean, the look, grind he's i focused guess so much on money you, you you described earlier how much he's changed i i'd say he's changed for the worst though that's what he money does to you he's... exactly that's that's my point uh, cautionary tale about capitalism yeah at least he has a car though it makes up for it <laughs> Yeah, I love Mario Galaxy. Have you guys played that game? Uh, I don't think I have. I'm not a platforming not. fan. You definitely really. should. I won't. Oh, I, I do forget that you are not a platforming fan, but it is a very fun game. It's a lax game. It's not It's not much of a Celsty. I know, find uh, platformers boring if they're not difficult, but I'm bad at hard ones. Gotcha. I don't like well, I had a lot most of Mario games. You even, like, you even like jump at one point, and you'll just go soaring around... Yeah. And my, I bring that up is like, like yeah, I'm, I, I'm finally old enough to like feeling to feel nostalgic about different things, and that's a big one. I was listening to the Mario Galaxy soundtrack. I, I was in the gym, and like I can hear like the music through other people's headphones. It's like rap music or people screaming, and I'm just out here doing pull ups to Super Mario Galaxy Gusty Gardens. And honestly, I think I'm based for that. My music choice is just better. You know, you're never too young for nostalgia. I felt nostalgic for Xenoblade when the definitive the definitive edition came out. Because I played that game when it first came out. That's true. I guess nostalgia is just good memories in the past. Actually, now that you mentioned working out, we need to talk after this. like Because I realize since you're coming back in town, I can actually like start that up again. True. I'll be back in town. So, so the thing about that is it sounds like a lot of people want to want to work out together. So we're going to have to organize that. Like maybe we can do a big group, but we're we're all doing different things. We'll just cuz it's like only two or three people max can like do one activity together. That's fine. Or else you'll be on the machine and then you'll be like waiting for a good like 15 minutes until you get back onto it. That's an over exaggeration. But yeah, I'll probably just do cardio. That's fine. Honestly, I shouldn't even care that much. It's just another opportunity to hang out with friends. That's right. But yeah, it'll be fun. I got. I gotta get back into cardio. I've been bad about cardio. Cardio is very important, mm-hmm. and I've been overlooking it. I was pretty good, like the last month, or like second to last month of school, and then I just haven't recently. Yeah, my problem was my like I was trying to fit working out and everything. My schedule changed multiple times, so I had to get used to the schedule. And then I was starting able to put the gym back into it. I just wasn't very fast with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I want, whoa, I got I got big plans. You know, Sick. next year I'm gonna I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna do a serious bulking phase, a serious leaning phase. Also, I can dress up as Luffy from One Piece. Make it rock. Seriously, he's he's the most defined six pack. All right, it's crazy because his arms are like noodles. Because he only does abs. Based honestly, who needs anything else? Scientists do say nine out of ten. Oh wait, no, I can't say that's that. just lying. You're fine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Nine out of ten scientists do say abs are the most important instrument of the body. Maybe I shouldn't stop you. That would just like be better for you. No, I'm not going to stop you. 
I'm going to enable. Enable what? Being awesome and massive? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going to pump everyone up this summer, all right? I'm going to get all you guys in my line of thinking, all right? And we'll, we're all going to, like, grow five inches That's of just muscle. How that works. We're going to do a bunch of calf raises, so then our legs will be taller. I don't want to be, be all muscle muscular. height. I'm fine. That's not how that works. It is. Listen, who's, who's the gym expert? Not you. That's true, but I still believe it. I am where I want to be when it comes to muscles. I just. That's good. I strive for just liking where I am. But I don't right now, so I got to keep working hard. That's crazy. Go on. Once I can lift a car with one arm, I'll be satisfied. Like Luffy from One Piece. Cars don't exist in that world, but I'm sure he could do it. Probably. He's a shonen character. What are your lifelong goals? Guys, let's talk about it. Happiness. Liam, you can't ask serious questions. What's, of... what's your, what's your uh, larger at- obtainable, maybe a bit more immediate goals in life? I don't know. Oh. Well, do you have any career paths you would want to go down that you are working to in your higher education and job? Uh, Maybe. Last I checked, it was a yes. Has that changed? I I know I want to go down the biology route. Biology major. That's about where I stand at the moment. Really? So you don't want to do vet stuff? I'm I'm still I'm still debating it in my head. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'd like to get into writing a bit more. I think I said this earlier. I don't know if I want to go Part down of, like that as a career, but I would like to look into it. Part of me feels like the like Part of me feels like I can't do it. Main, well, mainly feels like I feel like I'd be too stressed out. Mm-hmm. I like overwork myself. For vet but, stuff? Yeah. I mean, I think the main part of that is that you recognize that and so you can prevent it. It's about... Well, <laughs> See, those those scenarios normally come up where I feel extremely stressed is whenever uh, emergencies happen. So yeah. it's not like I can really... I'm talking about the overworking part. That, yeah, because this, the stress part comes with the job. Anything that's like a medical profession of any type, that's pretty stressful. Yeah. Does seem pretty stressful. I'm sure it's also pretty like fulfilling, though. Is it? Yeah. Helping animals. Good job. It does seem very hard. It probably doesn't help that much. But knowing you, I think you you could do it if you wanted to go down that path. Yeah, but that's a it's a good thing to think about. Yeah. What about you, Jackson? Uh, grad school. Oh, yeah. That's physics. Uh, how, have you talked about, like, the specific type of physics? Well, no, because, like, like I, I'm thinking about, like, geophysics and energy research, but I, to do that, I, like, I don't have the experience right now. That's just, that's right. a later down the line thing. Like, I've taken mechanics. I'll figure that out as I go. Well, I wish you luck in that. That's crazy. Positivity from us. I I used to be very good at positivity. I feel like I've gotten worse. I got to get that. I know the that. exact day it changed. I, re- I remember. Wait, really? It was the day you and Are Simon you not- played Smash. 
that is literally <sighs> when like everything changed. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> For reference, yeah. he and our friend Simon played online Smash together and they were just both so toxic to each other. He started Yeah, that's it, toxic. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> as that happened, that like it it was just out of nowhere one day. They were both so toxic to each other, and then it just has stayed. I'm I'm trying to work my way backwards. Every 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 time I like get really toxic at Simon, I try I try to backpedal it at least a little bit. It was it's always too late. As, I as, I got to go back to sleep, man. As soon as Simon put toxic arc as a status, there's no going back. That was the beginning of the end. He enabled me. No. No, no, no. it's my and fault. I got to take full responsibility. Back. And then got mad at you. Didn't I thought it went better? I, uh... I I think the only way to really fix this is to work is to be able to do a smash game and be positive the whole time. That's how I redeem myself. Maybe. Well, the problem is it wasn't a game. It was like a series of games in an well, hour. Well, a smash session. A smash hour. An it hour was, of smashing. It was like about like two hours of straight yelling from the both of us. If, if I can just go like that long, only being positive. It's the maybe. angriest, I, well, the most, the loudest maybe. I've ever seen both of you. Maybe you can try tonight. No. I... I li- he literally can't. Due to my current situation, my wife, I literally cannot yeah. play Smash. Oh, sorry. In a couple of days, I think I'll Wishful be able to thinking. get it right. It has to be. That, that's my high. that's my summer goal: play Simon and Smash and be a good person while doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing: if you fix it, what about Simon? You have to end the cycle in both ways. I. I'll do my best, but I can only control my own actions, you know. I'll 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 try to inspire him that's by being the best man. version of myself. Okay, that's well, less pessimistic. I think it's a little more realistic. You, know? you could just manipulate him. See, that's just awful. Into being yeah. a better person. The ends justifies the means, Sun Tzu, twenty twenty three. Only villains say that. Sun Tzu was a villain, I guess. I mean, wasn't he like a famous war general? <laughs> That's right. War generals commit like war crimes all the time. He probably did like innovate war crimes. <laughs> like the things he says are like common knowledge now, but they're like a revolutionary back in the day. So he's probably like take prisoners and torture them for information. I'm like, oh, I see. Thank you, thank you. See, you really, really just gotta control anger. Anger can get out of hand, especially in arguments. You can't lose yourself in the heat of an argument. It's like being in like a Discord argument, and in order to win it, you leak classified government documents. But who would ever do that, Liam? That was a crazy story. That I happened. cannot. Wait, what happened? Here, so. For those of you that are uninformed, Jacob, uh, so there was a, somebody got arrested pretty recently for leaking documents regarding the Ukraine war from the U.S. government. Do you know where they leaked these? No. In a Minecraft Earth map of a, a server, a Discord server all about building an Earth replica in Minecraft. Oh, I've heard of that st- server. Yep. They did that there? Yeah. <laughs> they were arguing about the map and presumably Ukraine. And so somebody and then one of the people building and talking about it said, no, here's proof. And they pulled up classified documents from the U.S. government to prove their argument. And the person they were talking to did not believe them because they're like, these are fake. That Because they're classified documents. Nobody else has access to them. Because have... that person actually like worked in the government, right? Yeah, they. I believe they were in some sort of Air Force branch that had enough clearance to get them. I don't know the full details. Oh. What were What were they arguing? I want to know what they argued. Well, they were probably arguing, arguing about. about like the geography and like uh, different cities because Ukraine's been bombed, something like that, mm. or like troop movements. I don't know. 
because it's like the earth replica because when i first read the docu the article about it they just said argue uh, talking about minecraft maps in ukraine and i was confused i'm like how do those two correlate and then i i put it together by oh it's a minecraft earth map server um, but the funniest part about this is these documents were actually likely leaked about a month prior in a different server. Uh, you want to know what the server was called? Wait, what? They were? Thug Shaker Central. <laughs> Wait, I've heard of the Thug Shaker. That's that one video where the, the guy is asking the other person about the Thug Shaker and they show their face and their hair looks like an atom bomb happened on their head. I didn't know that. What is what is a thug shaker? I don't know. You can Google it. I just it's funny that government documents were leaked in Thug Shaker Central, but nobody batted an eye because like who believes it? They thought they were just lying. That's crazy. The government really, really throws those documents around, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I believe Sun Tzu once said, uh, "Don't leave your documents out in the open." <laughs> Especially regarding it's... war. Yeah. Jacob. Yeah. You've been bowling recently. How's your bowling been? Uh, my bowling was weird, to be honest. Last time. Mm -hmm. Weird. I so like I know I talked I think I mentioned last episode like my bowling was like schnasty that that last time I did it yeah or at least I've mentioned it recently and this week whenever I went bowling I was like what the fuck did I do last time bowling <laughs> because uh... like I feel like most of the time I was like how did I throw it again because like I was trying to like replicate what I did last time but I just couldn't remember it you lost the snastiness. I no, I did. No, I did pretty well. I had like several one thirty games, and I had like a one forty nine. I good. still kept up, you know, an above one hundred average. What's your elo? What do you mean? Your, your bowling elo? Yeah. Like in the world. I don't know my ranking. Five ninety four, maybe. That's wishful thinking. Wait, what? That's not. Is that like? That's pretty low, right? Uh, I don't know my my ELO for, and I forgot what ELO stands for anyway, so I can't accurately answer that question. Is that my chess ELO? What? No, it's around there though. Wait, what? What number did you say? I said five ninety four. Oh, jokes on you! I'm one higher than that. I was so close. <laughs> was that actually just a random guess? Oh, I knew it was in that ballpark. Bro. I knew it was under 600, but, like, high 500s. Honestly, that is that is pretty high, though. Like, like the hundreds? Like, if you had 595 uh, cookies, you wouldn't even be able to finish those in one day. I doubt that. I could do it. I don't know my... I don't know my... Bowl you could not eat 595 cookies in one day. I could. You probably can. These are like these are like grandma's chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, I could eat them. You over, couldn't. Yeah, I could. Over, probably six hundred. How? With my over mouth 20. and teeth. <laughs> you do, you simply do not have the room. Yeah, I do. No over. human stomach has the room for five hundred and ninety five. Oh. So can we make the the preface that they're made highly of fiber? Yeah, Jacob. Oh, over twenty four hours, someone can probably eat five hundred and ninety five cookies. Yeah. I guess it would just be awful yeah i didn't say i would enjoy it but i could do it hmm i've done it before that's a lie guys in the friend group where would you rank yourself in terms of winning in a fight this, this has been the recent discussion lately. i'm like top two your top two? Yeah. No, your top three. Mm -mm. Top two. Who's the other one? Cohen. You're. You think you could take me in a fight? Yeah. Last Why? time we did, I won. We never fought. Yeah, it was at your house. The. 
the like wrestling. I ring? didn't participate in that one. You didn't? I, I, no, I wasn't there for it. I there was me and a couple other people were in the other room playing. I still think I could take you. You're so wrong. I I I'm not gonna get toxic. If someone makes the tier list, I'm nine percent sure I'm gonna be put on the bottom by like everyone. Not the bottom, but you're definitely low. That's the bottom. Danny's at the bottom. No. I just I just say that to fuel his rage. That's toxic. makes him more likely to actually uh, no. Yeah, it gives him confidence. No, toxic. No. Brb. Toxic masculinity. Oh, there goes Jacob. He clearly wants to get better at fighting. So I. But I that's give him not the right. No, that's not the right way to encourage somebody. You're pulling him down. That's toxic. Oh. That is maybe like, you're right. Like textbook toxic masculinity. I do think now I could beat him in a fight, though. Oh yeah, I agree. I, I, I. If if he does train and get to that level, I'd be proud of him. That's a hard thing to do. I totally beat you in a fight. No. Yeah, the problem I have with imagining that this is I would never actually fight someone, so I have a hard time like imagining that's me part actually of like issue. fighting my friends. Like, what, what's the situation? Is it is it like a like just a wrestling ring, or you, I am imagining one of you having just killed my family, and I am fighting to the death for revenge? What's the situation? I don't know. I didn't start the argument. I've hardly participated. All right, I'm back. You 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 simply cannot just throw around those baseless claims. Oh, do you four five hundred ninety five cookies? I have two, three. That is a lot of cookies. Well, I I I guess I just have to keep training until I'm in that number one spot. Totally. I was going to say, I don't think of myself as low on the list. Because most of my active duty at my job is restraining and holding down very heavy animals. Oh. Maybe that is some gravitas. I don't think that's the proper word there. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. That's a word like that I think means like theatrics. I thought it was the and like drop another form of gravity. And I think like no, we just grab the top. I mean, I think it's like theatrical gravity, like in a situation. Dignity, seriousness, or okay, yeah, it's yeah. Not even... Okay. Even though my like stature like seems pretty thin, it's like mainly muscle only. Yeah, I'm. I'm also all muscle actually. It's not like like like, like you cut me, and the muscle just like starts flowing out. Because I'm just so stuffed with it. That's why you you guys have never seen me get a paper cut. William? You're thinking about it right now. Wait, what? William? Yeah? Wait, you guys went silent. That is like technically gaslighting. Yeah. Is it? You're trying to doubt our memories of ever seeing you with a paper cut. I, I don't think you ever actually have some. But I think I cut. have. I was saying... I think I have as well. Yeah. But now I'm not sure. I don't think... I My memory... Like, this is honest. Honestly, I do not think I have gotten a paper cut since, like, middle school. I think that is completely... And even so, I think I might have... I think I remember you getting one in middle school. Oh. Well, then I guess I was just wrong. You're, well, you're, you're no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on what I'm saying. Actually, mm. I don't, I don't remember getting a paper cut. You're, so you're gaslighting yourself. So we won't, so we won't accuse you. You of have gaslight. to give yourself ten dollars. Damn it! Okay, well, just, just, just doing a little bit, guys. A bit. What's that? About how how strong and awesome I am. That's crazy.
you guys ever had a pet parrot? No, I've never had any birds. Oh. No, but my work does. Does it does it say funny things? Sometimes. Do do they actually talk? Yes. Like Yeah, it says hello sometimes. Cool. All the parrots I've seen are misogynistic. You're right. You're right. That Pretty sure they just reflect what people around them say though. The the bird the bird of my work like hates like the two female coworkers that's been there for a while. Or like, like they'll say like hate. charged things to them like sexually and you're like, you No, the bird just hates them. Oh hates them specifically. Like like whenever they enter the room, the bird like goes to the corner of the cage. That's so that's so terrible. <laughs> Unbased bird, <laughs> and like um uh in 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 the bird, like it, like for some reason really likes young men. Oh, uh, uh, the the I don't know. I don't. I'm not a fan yeah, of this. I don't like that bird. Actually. It's a parakeet. Isn't that just the long version of parrot? No, it's the white and it's the white one. Please like allow me to euthanize covers. this abnormality. That's a reference for everybody. <laughs> Gonna euthanize a parrot? Yeah. Why? He's sexist. Maybe maybe what what he needs is just a good talking to. No, he's sexist. And a okay. parrot. Do you hate parrots? No, I just don't think they change that much. I don't think like you can like reasonably get level on a moral level with birds. You think dogs can have character arcs? Uh, yes, but they're all like uh pretty simple. Ones. So then, why can't a parrot? So okay, so dog character arcs. Um, uh, normally it's from good, it's from bad to good whenever they're young. Or it's good to bad whenever they're older, but it's it's very short and it's often the times the result of a traumatic accident. That's why it's not like oh moral reasoning with them. It's like very stark changes. It's like a shelter dog going from I'm scared to I like you guys. Yeah. Or yeah. or a nice schnauzer getting its arm bitten off and going I hate every dog other than me. Hmm. That sucks. My dog Actual got it back example once. My work. Your work's kind of crazy. New York? No, his work. Oh, sorry, I misheard you. His work at yeah. That was what, hectic. What what address is this again? Don't fucking. I'm, What's I'm the not... social security number of your boss? I'm not going to say it. Maybe next episode, Loyal Baking Baristas. If we hit 10 likes, I'll drop Drake Jacob's address in my Discord messages and accidentally stream it. Yo. How? <laughs> Don't worry, Jacob. We won't hit 10 likes. <laughs> and besides, I'm gaslighting, so we're good. You're just lying. You know, that's actually one of my favorite things to do. Not, well, I mean, misuse, gaslight people no, about the fact that you're gaslighting. I misuse the word gaslight. Like, there's a large portion of time where our friend group thought gaslighting was just lying. And that's not the, and that was honestly a better time because we didn't, it wasn't really gaslighting. You're remembering correctly. I am, yeah. That one was so toxic when I said that. <laughs> Me yeah. confirming somebody's memory is toxic. <laughs> this sucks. Liam, how far are you in Xenoblade? The DLC? Yeah. I think I'm I'm in my guys are like level fifty five. Mm -hmm. So that's where I am. Are you almost near the top of that area? Yes. 
I, I got to the top and I fought a guy. Oh, like to the top. He killed me. He killed me once, and then I got a good chain attack going, and I insta killed him. Wait, so you're because... at the top, like how? Yeah. And then the guy who was at the top stopped us and was like, "Grr!" So we fought him, and I beat him. And I haven't watched the ensuing cutscene yet. That is the end of the game. What? Yes. It ends there? After the cutscene. Well, the cutscene then takes you to uh, the final boss and then some ending things. So you were about was, was just like, an hour like, and a half to tw two hours away from beating it. It was just like less than 10 hours or so. It was definitely less. That was like five hours. For, no, I'm at ten hours. Yeah, no, that's hold on. What's my play time? I, I guess I didn't like do every single side quest then. That's great. I it ends there. Really? Yeah, it ends at the top of that location. Oh man. There, there's a bit more, but like wait, they didn't, they didn't explain they the exp one guy. They explain things. So uh, they do. Uh, they explain that in a scene after you beat the game. Finally, at least I'll get some closure. Where, yeah, man, this was this felt that was that's kind of quick. Damn, I th I think it's just you haven't been doing that much side content. Well, I mean, the main content of the game is that's the main game. What's a know? DLC? I I I and it's a Xenoblade. I guess I just didn't know what to expect. I've never yeah. played a Xenoblade. I mean, DLC. and Torna was different because it required side content. Oh. Well, I see. But you are so close, and I highly recommend it because there are things about lore I must tell you. Uh, I'll I might beat it tonight, depending on if I don't uh, recommend it. So what I get because it won't give you a warning that this is the end. Oh, okay. Like all the other games, you're like, are you sure you want to progress here? Because you'll get to the end of the game. Probably uh, tomorrow then. Yeah. I did that. I was like 1 a.m. when I did that. I'm like, oh, after this point, I'll stop. <laughs> God. And oh, I went God. to sleep at 4. Ow. But what happened? I I coughed and it hurt my abs because they're sore from That's yesterday. Crazy. I'm working out. Sorry. Well, that, that was the end of my stream of thoughts. Mm. Yeah, I can't really talk about Xenoblade because I haven't played it. Yeah, and we have to it. be very vague because spoilers. Mm -hmm. Don't want to spoil it for a uh, one baking barista out there watching right no, we now. Have, we have so one person's been watching, but we have two subscribers. Insane. So someone's a fake fan. Yeah. I Because I looked the, uh, earlier today and our watch time is at like seven hours, which means somebody has watched all of the episodes. Seven hours? What? Seven. It wasn't any of us, right? No, I haven't. And I so it, or earlier in the day, because I know Jacob was busy at work, and I, you have not, and I have not. Earlier, like a few days ago, it was 0. 0.4 hours. Later that night, it was 7.2 hours. We've got a fan. But they're not... I, we only grow from here. Make, make sure to leave a comment. I, you already subscribed. Leave a comment. Yeah, yeah leave, it, leave a comment. Leave a comment on who you on. Leave a comment and tell us whose address is your favorite. If you leave two comments, we'll comment Jacob's address below. No, no, that's that's not fair to Jacob. Bro, why is ever why are you trying to ddox me? Ddox you? Yeah. What ddos and ddox? We're not ddosing. Ddosing is something else just doxing and i i was against doxing you right there only there though rare jackson defending someone that's not true okay i hear the the fact that you do not believe me in your voice yes Why? i defend simon all the time <laughs> it, it's equaled out by you also attacking simon I hardly attack Simon. You do it a little bit. Ninety percent of the time, it's because you do it enough for me. 
Well, now that now that I'm cooling down, someone else will have to take my place. It'll be Zach. That's true. It'll be Zach. Or Danny. I hope he never joins voice chat again. I hope, or that's a lie. I hope the next time I talk to him, it's in person. So I can make fun of him for having a salary. It was crazy. I can't believe him. What? That's literally, like, it's, that's not even, like, an out, invalid thing to, like, make fun of someone for. Yeah, that's kind of toxic. It's coming from a place of disbelief that I'm, that we're growing up. And my making fun of him is hiding my discomfort about that fact. Well, that's not a good coping mechanism. It's not. You should listen to things on Audible instead, not sponsored. Okay. Why do they make plugs look like little frowny faces? Why can't they smile? Because that's more metal. They're usually plastic because they're covers for the wiring, actually. But, but you know how like they put the metal stuff into them. Yeah, that's that's the. the we'll just change thing. the shape of it. But why? Also, you'd have to change every outlet. We're a society. And different countries have it. different shapes. Exactly. It's not that hard. It has something to do with the circuits and the stuff. I don't know the specifics. Someone, the, the computer guy who made it on computer day when they were inventing plugs was just having a bad day. Maybe. That's yeah, my I, theory. Plugs were invented before computers. Well, it probably wasn't called computer day back then. It was called pre-computer day because so, they were just waiting for the computer to get invented. So when they invented plugs, which happened to be on the same day as computer day, which would take place like 40 years in the future. Yeah. That's crazy. This is nonsense. We're talking about nonsense. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> yeah. completely nonsensical. I just well, maybe maybe there are deeper values that the you know I did yesterday the baking barista can gain from our conversation. The baking brew. I don't know. I, I would love to. S somebody analyzes our words like a fucking English paper. Like somebody, somebody down below, analyze what we're saying and analyze the problems with us and what we need to fix. Liam's specific syntax here indicates a uh, very intentional usage, and uh, he wants to get off the themes of. Somebody psychoanalyze the eight hours of podcast. How is it eight hours if this is only episode six? We've had longer episodes. Because we don't always uh, just do an hour episode sometimes. That's true. I'm telling the truth, yeah. You aren't. What? You what know, were you going to say, Jackson, before you just started gaslighting again? I love reading. You and I, you want to know what I did recently? What'd you do? I got a bookshelf. And now mm -hmm. I have a place to put all my books. And I didn't realize I have four rows of books already. That's crazy. That is. And I have a lot of books. Them. Nice. Books are fun. Liam, you're a big, you're more of an audiobook person, right? No. Oh, really? I'm, I'm getting mixed up with Simon. So do you do physical books? Yeah, I love this. I just, I just haven't had a lot of time yeah, yeah, or yeah. been able to put aside enough time. I'm getting back into it though. Yeah, yeah. I'm both. I like podcasts and I also like books. Mm. I don't. I wouldn't know if I had a preference. Well, I mean, I like. I'm saying like audiobooks are like. I don't oh, know, I don't think I've ever done an audiobook. Yeah, I am not an audiobook fan. Although I love to to shield Audible. I do not like listening to audiobooks. I prefer reading. I'm a big ebook person. Oh, really? Yeah, I have like, let's, I have like 60 or 70 books on my phone. See, I actually do not like ebooks. Yeah. I, I prefer books, just like physical books and being able to just hold the book so much more. That's a general consensus from a lot of people, unless they're like specifically Kindles or something made for reading. Yeah. 
even then I do prefer the yeah. physical book. I've I've tried a Kindle. Yeah, I know very right. few people that are like, yeah, I read stuff on my phone too. <laughs> see, my version of ebook is see once once the metaverse gets really big. You know, I'll go, I'll go in there oh, to get a virtual book. physical That's book. So terrible, but they they won't do that only because they don't believe in books anymore, and also getting publishing rights. But it, it's it's a virtual book, but the pages are blank, and you tap each page to get the ebook to start playing just for that page. That's so toxic. That's so terrible. <laughs> That's I think what you mean is that is the future. You could say that. I would disagree with you. <laughs> I hope that's it's, not the It's all the joy of holding a book without the work of actually reading it. Jacob, what's your opinion on books? I like books. Pro books are your pro books? Yeah. So if I burnt a book in front of you, what would you do? Depends on the book. Ooh, I have a book that's actually called Burn This Book. The Unofficial uh, Gamer's Guide to Fortnite. I I need that. There's I would, a lot I would be mad. I, I would be give mad. You a chance. You wouldn't give me yeah, a chance. So we'd swipe it out of your hands. And okay. I'd, I'd read that so hard. Okay. I was I, I the way I heard that I'm like, oh my god, is that a? Would you kill me before I got a chance? <laughs> I have a guy for this. What I'll are you be doing snorkeling with the, with the fishes? Text. What are you doing with the book? Shout out to snorkeling Tony. I I have I have a series of books uh, where. I have three books and the series is to you just destroy the book. Each page is like you, you rip out the page or you burn it or you throw dirt in it. And that's like the whole book for three different books. Why? I, I think I got it in grade school. I never read through it. I don't, I don't know. I, I never read through it, but the whole point of the book is to eventually just destroy the book. Maybe because it has forbidden eldritch knowledge and they don't want you yeah. passing it on, but they want you to have it. Yeah. This is how you summon Gorth the Lord, the god who sleeps in the stars. This is how you summon Snarble Raptor, the cruel. Gorth the Lord? I, I love those crazy names, like Borthrax, the, the villainous. Oh. Or Garble Snapter, the evil. Or <laughs> Grable Gomper, the heinous. I would open my D&D &D lore stuff, but that's spoilers. Dude, this next campaign I'm running, I'm gonna have such such a breeze with uh, naming things. You're gonna be like, "What's the name of the shopkeeper?" And I'm gonna be like, "Snibble Gopper." And Zane's gonna be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> Zane's gonna feed you to the moss in his solo campaign if you do that. Zane is going to kick me out of my campaign. <laughs> He's gonna extradite me as DM, and I'll just become a player. That'd be that's so toxic. You you'll become a permanent DM PC. And as revenge, I as a character, I will make my character backstory. I know everything, and, and my backstory is the DM notes, and then I share it with everyone. That's that's so toxic. <laughs> that's like, but in a positive way. No. No. It's, it's all bad. hypothetical, guys. Two wrongs don't make a right. In fact, they make they just Unless make two the wrongs, wrongs are really funny. No, they're that's just double the wrongs. But Look, it's a funny wrong. You're not low to your god. I I I'd hope not. He said some mean things. He's on a redemption arc, though, from what I've heard. Honestly, good on him, guys. Who would win in a fight? Lightning or fire? If 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 they like went at each other, fire. Lightning is just hotter than fire. No, but the problem is lightning disappears too quickly and it leaves fire behind. <laughs> but not if it strikes the fire. No, it, it literally. Well, lightning doesn't always leave fire behind. If it like strikes a patch of dirt, it just makes like a small crater or whatnot. Yeah, but if the fire is there and capable of being flam flammable. It will most likely increase the fire. Okay. What if it's blue lightning? To set to set the rule. The same. In it. 
in a no. in a in a endless void, who would win, lightning or fire? Well, so what's in the void? Just Nothing. lightning and in fire. In a space with no oxygen whatsoever, well, then... and none of the ingredients for either of those things to exist. Well, lightning is just energy. Oh, so lightning wins. Yeah. That's so like lightning saying would be who... fire on the earth. No, I hate this is that's so bad. This isn't gaslighting because you did just say that lightning would beat fire. That's not no, that's not why it's not gaslighting and that is not the reasoning. <laughs> In a space where there cannot possibly be fire, you're right, lightning would win. Exactly. Just as in a who is better at living competition, a living person beats a dead person. Yeah. There you go. That. <laughs> That's a really bad competition to like set up and stipulate. Oh, you saw, call that a pyramid scheme. No, you saw don't. the polymorph corpse argument, right, Jackson? I did oh, wow. not. The, the thought experiment where um, uh, you true polymorph someone into the corpse of themselves. I would say... That, Didn't they just revert? No, I would the say they don't have the same memories. Well, they're an object anyways. Yeah. There would be another living creature on the basis of true polymorphing, but I have different rulings for creatures made through true polymorph. Well, no, 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 no. You true polymorph someone, and then you true polymorph into them into an object that is their dead state. I mean, sure, but I would also, I would just say that, say that's uh, what's it called, like. I mean, yeah, but if the object breaks, what happens? Uh. It does not state anything specific after two hours, but since it doesn't say anything specific, like for you, like for like changing into an animal form and that becoming permanent, I think they just go back. Isn't that also? Well, actually, wasn't no, that also a method of time travel? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We talked where about where you, true, where you like true, true polymorph time travel, where you true poly since since. It doesn't necessarily say anything about like. Um, uh, it says specifically whenever you get reserved to zero HP, you go back to your original form. So, we thought of the the table time skip. What Where, I, th um, I, I think the safest place to be would to convert yourself into a gold coin in a dragon forge. You, you you slap a glyph of warding on yourself to go off after a thousand years and you polymorph true polymorph into a gold coin that gets lost in the pile and then you time travel sort of for a thousand years because you don't remember any of it and you aren't conscious I mean that is a way of stasis I don't call that time travel it, that's why it's it's like it's sort of time travel yeah. it's time travel from your perspective it's not actual time travel yeah yeah that I'm going to call that stasis, but yeah. And, and, Although that's and, like not a very trustworthy thing, because what if the dragon horde no. gets looted? Well, you'll wake up somewhere. No, you won't, because your glyph won't go off. Can't you put the glyph on yourself? Like No, it has to be it. on an object, so you cannot do that while you are a coin. Yeah, that's why the well, thought experiment it's... was whenever you're confined to a box somewhere in the middle of a dungeon. And even then... They could take you out of the box. Yeah, there's a whole lot of potentiality, but like the main thing was just like you're a table in a room with a glyph of warding on the wall that is set to go off in a thousand years. As if someone turned me into a table, would you still be my friend? Yeah. I mean, I'd be would a you take care of me? As a table? No, I would just break you so you turn back into a human. But then I'd just die. Like, this is real life. Oh, this I'm is just real life, now. so you're just a table? Yeah. Well, congrats. I have a named table. Liam is dead. That sucks. How'd he die? It does suck. He got turned into a table. <laughs> Damn.
Yeah, why didn't you guys protect Life me? Life can be rough sometimes. <laughs> it's it's like the the new anime movie you got turned into a chair damn yeah. life can be rough sometimes I'm a fucking how i chair. turned into a table and time traveled for 1000 years dude that episode's gonna go so hard <laughs> can you post that when we're uh when we're dead yeah All right thanks wait that would be so crazy you schedule like a youtube video for like 20 like 99 or like 2020 20, sorry 2235 you get like the worst internet possible so it takes like 60 years for your youtube video well, no it should already will be YouTube uploaded will even be around who knows 200 years later but like that would be crazy because once you upload it from your computer it's like on their system so then it would just like make it go live i guess that's true imagine you die but you have like a set of videos up to date so like <sighs> you set a video out saying like oh i died and then you have these automatically scheduled videos coming out for like a month <laughs> so, it's so terrible it's so bad, it's so bad. like it, it, there's no point because like you don't even get the income my family would I mean, I guess. You could pay for my funeral expenses. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to use that YouTuber money and we can pay for the funeral. Audible, can I get a sponsor on this? <laughs> this is dark. That's what nighttime does, yeah. But it's the... No, I can't say that. It's not the day. That's just... That's lying. That's not gaslighting. That's lying. It's not gaslighting. <laughs> Oh. Just why, William? Well, cutting out lying is also a good thing to do. Yeah. I believe the Bible once said lying's immoral. That's the reason I don't read the Bible. Yeah. You think oh, anyone's yeah. actually read that whole thing? Yeah. Yes. That's crazy. But why'd they do that? I've, their job. I've read a book series that's more than the Bible. Really? Yeah. But isn't the Bible like really long? I don't think it's that long. It's not that long. How many, what's the word count of the Bible? How many pages? What's the development of the Bavizzle? The Bible's only 1,200 pages. Oh. That's short. We'll give it I guess Jesus name. really didn't say that much. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but we'll keep in mind that like a lot of the pages are like heavily dense, like dense text together. Even then, that's not a lot. Yeah, and technically, the Bible's a lot of books. Isn't it just two? The Old Testament and the New Testament? No, no, because there are different like books inside of it, like Psalms and whatever. Oh, to sell yeah. But also i I'm not no, I'm that's me. Uh the Old <laughs> Testament's nine nine hundred something, and then the New Testament's like three hundred. So it's not that much. The book series I read is twelve books, or no, it's thirteen books that are all like five hundred, six hundred plus pages. Dang. Call what book series is that? The Wheel of Time. Oh. It's the I watched one. a couple episodes of that show. <laughs> that show's so funny. It wasn't... That's because you didn't have the context. Listen, it's very funny. When they pull something that is a big achievement in book, like, six. In in the season of the the first season, which is supposed to be... Like, they go through six books in the first season? No, they don't. They bring something that is supposed to be a big achievement in the sixth book just randomly into one of the episodes of the first book. Oh, okay. I don't I don't think that book, that show even goes fully through the first season. First book. It doesn't. Which is crazy. Because they pulled something from the sixth book that's a major character moment. And they just do it. Respect. It's so bad. I love it.
And that book series is not worth it for being that long. There's like a huge slog like in books four through seven or something. For four whole books? Yeah. Dang. Like I considered rereading it and then I remembered that and threw that idea away. I'm also not the biggest fan of the writer's style. Hmm. There's a lot of sexism in the books, but it's it's like thematic and is reversed. Hmm. See. Like the only male sexism really is like Ah My wife, the old ball and chain. While women are like, wow, men are so stupid. The old ball and chain. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Do like, you think they ever actually did that? They attached a ball and chain to people's legs? Yeah. I've never seen it. IRL. It's because it's, it's an a, old thing. It's an actual thing that the people used yeah. to do. Yeah. Well, when prisons didn't have like a whole bunch, had like the. That's such a dick thing. move. Like they're already in the cell. No, no, no. They used it whenever they're doing penal labor mm -hmm. outside. Oh. Because they didn't have like the big, like, barbed wire fences. Penile. I see. It was used as like a way to make sure they couldn't like run far. You know, if 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 you think of your wife as a ball and chain, why would you even marry her in the first place? No, it's like oh, once we get married, You're really not happy. It's, yeah, it's like it's toxic. It's not a good standard, and it's not funny. Yeah, that guy should write better. No, well, the way it's framed, that's like he's making fun of that uh and it's also world building and thematic because women are considered better in a lot of aspects because for a long time they were the only ones capable of using magic i see it's a whole lore and stuff to get into you know what happens in like a week tears of the kingdom that's Here's right kingdom. jacob I'm excited for that. Not as excited so as Xenoblade, mind you, but I'm very well, excited. I don't think there's any other Xenoblade thing happening. Not right? anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm hyped. This is the most hyped I've been for a game who knows? in a long Xenoblade time. I just might just say new DLC drop. No, they won't. Xenoblade Four drop. The story's done. There will be a Xenoblade Four, but it's not about like the trilogy. Ah. Uh, but they do. They said that you will know where the series is heading after the DLC. Does the DLC give a hint as to where? In my we'll opinion. Go? Okay, I'll we'll have to be there. In the opinion of many others. Oh. Crazy shit. Well. Well, what? Liam? What? You said, well... Oh. I was... I was... I was thinking of Wells. Oh, you're just thinking of Wells? Yeah. Well, I think General. that's pretty good for this episode. Do either of you have any closing remarks? Bazinga. What he said. Bazinga. And don't don't forget baking bazingers. Don't forget to preheat the oven. Preheat the oven.